Hello everyone, welcome to Eduiki Learning Channel. In this video, I'm going to implement a project fun with Linux Basics for beginners. The project problem statement is reported in devapsrealtime.com website. The project prerequisites are to have a Linux EC2 instance that we can get created in AWS Cloud. In my AWS management console, the EC2 instance is already created. So let me log in into this EC2 instance using SHS client putty. Let me specify the IP address. This is the saved session. The key is already attached. Let me click on open. The default username is ec2-user. Let me go back to the problem statement. The deployment steps exactly show us uh, what needs to be done as part of this project. We need logging into the server as a super user. Let me switch to the Linux prompt. To become the super user, the command is su devo sudo su hyphen hit enter. Let me clear the screen. Who am I? I currently logged in as a super user to this instance. Then we need to create a file and directory structure as shown in the above problem diagram. Let me create this whole directory and the file structure in this server. I'll start with the the first directory structure home and opt are default directories that exist in any linux system i'm going to create the other additional custom file and directory structure mkdir slash dir1 under the dir1 i just need a, a file called f1 touch slash dir1 slash f1 then we need to create dir2 dir1 dir2 dir10 mkdir slash dir2 slash dir1 slash dir2 slash dir10 let me cross check one more time 2 1 2 10 you cannot create the the complete directory structure at one go just by using mkdir as the parent directories are not exist in this system to create along with the parent directories the command is p flag now we need to create a file called f3 touch specify the complete path up to dir2 then f3 file now dir3 dir11 mkdir hyphen p slash dir3 slash dir11 then dir4 dir12 mkdir slash sorry hyphen p slash dir4 slash dir12 then f4 f5 files in the same location touch slash dir4 slash dir12 slash f3 we need to create a one more file called f4 in the same location done then dir5 and dir13 mkdir hyphen p slash dir5 slash dir13 then dir6 mkdir slash dir6 then 7 and 10 mkdir slash dir7 slash dir10 obviously right because the parent directory is not exist we need to use the p flag then a f3 file in this dir7 location touch slash dir7 slash f3 then 8 and 9 directories 
mkdir-p slash dir8 slash dir9 then f1 and f2 files under the root directory touch slash f1 slash f2 then under opt 14 and 10 mkdir hyphen p slash opt slash dir 14 slash dir 10 then f3 file in 14 touch slash opt slash dir 14 slash f3 with this i have implemented the whole directory structure that is represented in this diagram now let me proceed with the below a problem statement first we need to create a dir6 slash dir4 let me clear the screen mkdir hyphen p and specify the target done then create a file under root directory touch slash f3 then we need to write a text uh, Linux assignment for an a DevOps engineer learn with fun. Let me copy the text that we need to keep in the file and save it into slash f3. Vi is the editor to add a text in the file. Let me specify the absolute path of the f3 file. Let me go to insert mode. Let me paste the text. Let me save it. Control colon sorry escape colon wq enter. Done. Then we need to replace the devops word to the devops in the f3 file without using the vi editor. Good. Let me go to the terminal. Let me see the current content in the f3 file. Now I need to replace the devops word. Here you can use the awk command or you can use the sd cd command. Let me use sed command set command single quote yes slash old pattern devapps and the new pattern devapps slash g and the file name. After this, let me verify the text in the slash f3 file. Now I can see that the devops is replaced with the old one to the new one, which is like all in lower case. Good. Now the next step is to search for the pattern engineer and replace this with the lower case engineer in f3 file using a VI editor. Okay vi slash f3 now let me search for the engineer word escape colon percentage yes engineer sorry percentage yes slash engineer has to be replaced with the engineer in lower case hit enter now you can see that the the pattern wherever it found is got replaced now you can save and exit from this file. Now let me validate the file content and now the engineer word has got replaced with the expected target value. Good. Now we need to move the F1 file to the specific target directory. To move the file, the command is mv. The source is dir1 slash f1 the target is let me copy the target and let me specify the target here done then i need to rename the file to f4 mv slash f2 space slash f4 there is no special command to rename a file or directory in linux Moving a file or directory is also used to rename the file or directory. Hit enter. 
now we need to create a directory let me copy this mkdir hyphen p let me specify the directory structure that i need to create along with the parent directory structure then i need to have this directory as a present working directory okay let me clear the screen let me use cd command to switch to the target directory so that that directory will now become the present working directory now from the present working directory we need to create a f file the file name is f1 but we need to use the absolute path method well if i look into the above diagram currently i am in dir10 uh, which is here i just need to create a file under opt1410 opt1410 but i need to use the relative path method here right so i just need to navigate through all the level of parent directories then i need to go to this specific location so let me copy the location first where i am planning to create a file then i will compose the required parent directory structure right and uh, if you look into this path hierarchy i need to go to one two three four levels of the parent directories so touch one level two level three level four level then under the root under opt this is the location where i would like to create a, a file that's it of course it's very simple to use the absolute path but but the problem statement says uh, we need to use the relative path and i'm using dot dot which is a, a parent directory structure in the linux good now i need to move this particular file to the target mv specify now i need to specify the target directory well sometime back we have created this user2 directory so we need to make a note where we have created this user2 directory so you can see that it is under slash home probably i can even take this slash home as a absolute path slash home slash user2 and dir1 done then we need to delete the directory called dir4 recursively right because uh, under slash dir4 right the dir4 is not a empty directory it has some more sub directory structure is available so we need to create uh, we need to delete this uh, whole sub directory structure itself right so let me frame the command rm hyphen r is the command to delete a directory recursively then specify the directory name of course it is asking for the confirmation to delete the the nested file and directory structure if you don't want this confirmation you can even use the f flag which is a, a force delete then delete all the child files under the directory so there's a specific differences between 11 and 12 step in the 12 step i don't want to delete the directory itself but inside the directory i just wanted to delete all the nested directory files rm-rf specify the directory i don't want this dir14 has to be deleted so let me specify slash and star so that it will only delete the the sub directory and the files under the dir14 then let me create a file touch let me delete the directory rm dir so we can see that the directory is not empty when it is not a empty we need to use rm hyphen ref to clean this directory then delete dir8 
then delete the F3 file. RM is the command to delete the file. Give the confirmation. We need to search for the file with the name called F4 in the server and list all the absolute path wherever the F4 file is found in the system. Good. Let me clear the screen. Find is the command to search for the root level directories and I need to search for the file called F4 wherever it found I just need to print the results here. Yes I can see that there is only one file in the whole system and I got the absolute path where the F4 file is found on this system directories. Now I need to show, I need to show you the count how many total files are available in the slash directory. Good. The ls command will show you the list of files and directories under the root. But how do I get the count of the files that are available in the slash? Right. So let me show you something like this. Find. I wanted to list under the slash. Hyphen max depth. That means uh, the find command has to find the files only in the slash directories, not in the uh, subdirectories. Look for only the file types. We don't want any directories has to be listed here. Hyphen print. Well, I got an error. Let me go back to the command and uh, let me specify the max depth as one. That means uh, it has to get the files and directories at one level of directory structure, not under the nested directories, right? Let me hit enter. Now I can see that it is only printing the files under the slash directory. It is excluding all the directories. Now to get it, I can even use the pipe symbol and do wc l to see the count. The wc command is actually a word count command. Hyphen L flag will tell you that how many number of lines that are printed here. Obviously, each line is representing one file and I have got total three entries here and there are three files are available in the root directory. Good. So now let me go back and uh, let me delete dir1 rm hyphen rf dir1 let me delete dir2 rm hyphen rf slash dir2. Let me delete dir3 rm hyphen rf slash dir3. Let me delete dir5 rm hyphen rf slash dir5. Let me delete 7 as well rm hyphen rf slash dir7. And let me delete F1 and F4 files. RM slash F4 and RM slash F1. Now let me delete the specific directory under OPT. RM hyphen RF and specify the target directory. With this, we have executed all the steps as per this problem statement. The delete is ensured here just because if you wanted to repeat this problem statement one more time, right? We should not get an error stating that the directory is already exist. That is how we are ensuring that whatever we have created, everything is now cleaned up. If you wanted to repeat this problem statement one more time, you will not get any issues uh, stating the directory or the file is already exist, right? So I hope you like this project and uh, thanks for watching this video.